What's up guys? So last minute, right before the events changed, um, I noticed the prices are not exactly the same for Christmas as they were last year. So I was lacking in the gold and I figured I should do a 12k to ultimate charge because before the event cycle for Christmas it's 200% rebates if you win first place ultimate charge. Otherwise it'll be 150% next events. Um, and then I ended up realizing that I was going to be short anyway by the time I spent uh, the gold. So I'll still have to recharge again before the Christmas events end up. But here I recorded you guys what the 12k got me from the last event cycle. Uh, I got myself a level 100 ultimate equipment set as well as a 140 set I think. If I did 8k more I would have gotten another 140 set. Which I probably should have just ended up doing a 20k ultimate charge. And I would have been better off with everything. But I still need to do Karakura Festival uh, to rent some partners with candies. So it just, I don't know, either, either way I felt like I should have done more on the ultimate charge to be set with the gold. Um, but you will be seeing a couple of parts when it comes to this Bleach video. I mean it's probably like, the, I don't even know if I ever did a, a video series, but that's how it feels like it when it comes to Bleach. So after the events came out, the new events, managed to stay first place and win it. So 108,000 gold. And also you saw the achievement for having more than 88,888 gold. Never thought that I would ever have that on Go Games because I did have that on Brazil. Um, but this is the most gold I ever had at once on Go Games. And <laughs> what you're about to see right now with the sleds took me three hours and you'll only have to sit through like three minutes of it. Like literally three hours of footage got me three minutes of it because start the sleigh, show the timer, pause it, resume it, and I just kept doing this all night. You can kind of see the bleach timer at the top right, and if you pay attention to it, you'll be seeing the minutes go by and hours. But basically, what I was going to do is spend 80k gold, or more than 80k, like tw almost 20k or 90k gold, so I can get myself everything except for one partner. And then on the last day, I will pick up that partner. Because if you're spending, or if you're doing two red slots a day with the free chances, you only need to spend 2k a day. 20k gold equals a 40k partner in this event. So I'm pretty much going to be doing a red sled throughout the event cycle. And I'll still have to recharge because I fall short. But however, many, many clicks later. And it's just a pain because you have to wait 5 minutes. I wasn't going to spend 100 um, like gold just to skip the 5 minute timer because I need as much gold as I can at this point. Besides buying a whole new team, I still have inherits to do. So this will be a many parts. First part, as you're watching, is going to be me getting most of the formation changed. Second part, which will be out, I don't know how long after this video, will be me changing the formation and actually going through the power. Then on the last day, um, I'll be getting Koguto, which is going to be the last partner and the second support for the team. And then you'll see another video of me probably changing the battle power around and stuff. Um, if it's if it's not going to be long, then I'll just keep it as one part for the end, so it'll be like a three part. But there's just a lot of stuff to do for this event. Um, it kind of sucks that it's just not like last year. Last year was 16k gold, got you 40k after 10 days of the event. The sluts were giving 5k. Or like 5.5k, but now they're giving like 4k to 4.2k, something like that. I don't know, the event, it just really screwed me up. And because of that, I have to recharge for more, but I just want to get all this stuff over with. I want to change my formation all at once. This way it can give me a few months of peace and not have to worry about recharging. All this kind of stuff, because Christmas is probably the best event you can look forward to as fall holidays. You have Dragon Ball Festival. You have the... October Carnival as well. So basically I had to reach 110,000 Christmas cards in order to obtain everything. And once I finished this last sled, light, sled ride, I literally just went to bed. I'm also sick while I'm doing this, so I went to sleep after this. It took me so much time. You can see at the bleach time. Alright guys, so here we are on the next morning. You guys saw me spending all those red sleigh rides last night and... You know, I'm sick, I slept for three hours doing all that. I was honestly going to finish it all, but I was just like, no, I'm too tired getting those Christmas cards. Also, since this event is different than last year, like I said, uh, you get less points for more gold this time. 
Um, I basically fell down to 18k in order to get 110k Christmas cards, which I also fell over a little bit more points. Um, I'll still need to recharge because I have to inherit a lot of pe a lot of things for this formation now because I'm changing everything. And at minimum, I believe I need like 22k gold to get Kokuto. And I think after inherits, I think inherits will cost me like 5k or more. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be doing. For my main formation, I will be doing the 500 gold. But when it comes to the tavern partners, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, like, see, 180 to like 200 is not a big difference. I need to inherit everything because I really don't think I have enough. You know, 300 exclusive difference, is it worth the 500 gold? Probably not. Um, I don't have too many exclusives. Like, I would love to get the 500 golds. But at this point, I just don't want to. Um, it's just, it's just gonna, if I have to do all my tavern partners, that will be alone 3,000 gold. And I'd rather just do the 50s, but for my main formation, I'll have to do it. I have to inherit exclusives, reincarnation, and bonds. Now, I also want to get myself 140 accessories from Ultimate Arsenal, which is another problem. Um, so it depends. I'll have to see. I also need to recharge for Karakura Town Festival, because I want to rent Shin Ishin. I need to get Rangiku, and I need to also... And I want to get myself the Shinso Gin, because I'll probably end up picking him up later on. I think he's like 3k gold in Rio Guardian, and I do need a Fury Generator, so... Uh, maybe I'll end up getting him. But, you know, either way, I need to do at least a 2k recharge to get all the candies I need. Um, right now, it's 150% super value. Unless next event cycle is higher... Then, or if it has better gold events, then I'll recharge then. If not, I'll be recharging this week because, I don't know, I think I need to do at least another 8k. 8k more and I should be fine. And that is going to be me done for a long time. So, Karakura, okay, wrong event, Christ Christmas Carnival. <laughs> like I said, I'm sick also. Uh, we have a new title this time. They always gave out the Angel's Bell one, but now it's like God Settlement. It actually looks really cool. Um, I do like it. Has the Zero Division logo. I mean, I can't tell if that's the Soul King or if that's just whatever it is, but it looks nice. I have to basically do this whole uh, snowball thing. I have to do that later. Praying as well. So you get yourself a free prayer every day. Uh, for recharge, you can get more. You don't get too many cards from this. It also depends on your luck. I love how this part isn't even translated. So, Christmas sled, sled wise. Like I said, if you're going to be spending, you will want to do one-click red and do convoy and start. But that's if you have the current free chances here. Um, if you have excess gold like me, then you just basically do what I was doing. Just do it one-click and paying 3k for the red sled and you just kept repeating. It's really nice. It gives you a level 10 spirit stone box every time, as well as exclu exclusives. I'll be showing you my bag and all the stuff I got. Uh, Kokuto is also out, and honestly, I think he's really godly. He seems like a like a beefed up Namaya, because he has La higher He's an orange partner, so he was supposed to be a red, but they buffed him. Um, they also made his modification boost Helvers Ichigo. He also has a really broken third mod. I mean, every time he takes a hit, even Zanpakdos, he drops uh, enemies fury for assaulters. Or, what is it actually? Yeah, yeah, the third mod is supposed to be, it's basically be changed because in the picture or the gif i seen, he basically drops the entire enemy team's fury. So I'm not sure if it's just, I think it's just a bug, but he is, he seems pretty broken. I mean, he doesn't have a speed bond, um, but he's very fast, very strong. I like it. And since I'm going for a hell versus Ichigo team, I need to get him. And if I don't get him during Christmas, I'll end up picking him up in a couple of months anyway. So, just want to get everything out of the way. Uh, just to show you guys what's stacked up in my bags, because there's just recharging stuff and all these all these extra stuff. I'll be I'll finally be using all of this, and that's why there has to be a second part. The first part is going to be me spending and showing you this. Then probably after I finish recording this, I'll be stuck here for like six hours going through all this. So I have a level 100 set. Level 9 Hogu box, uh, level 80 set doesn't matter. Here's a level 140 set, a tier 12 Hogu as well. All these exclusives, 15k exclusive fragments. I only have 4k Soul of Conquest ready, 480 Red Hogyoku chests. 
for doing the other tw uh, 20k across nine days well it's gonna be 18k across nine days now and i'll need to do like an extra slate ride or something to get koguto um i'll basically have another i think it's like t almost 5k exclusives or whatever it is and i also get myself like 10 more level uh 10 spirit stone boxes so this event's really good you know when you look at the stuff you're receiving i have 24 level 10 spirit stone boxes now this is like the scariest part of it because this can go really good and amazingly and i need the stones or it can go so bad and i'll just feel awful so that's something i have to go through as well otherwise i don't know i don't know what else it was giving me but basically it's all about the exclusives it's still gonna be, it's gonna be a pain inheriting everybody it really is i'm basically changing out my whole formation then stacking so let me just use all these red hogyokus use these modification i wish i gave more of those uh, I'm going to stack everything into Toshiro. I'm, I still decided to get him. Let's see, what was I going to... Yeah, no, I was going to go check some... Okay, Red, Red Hulk Goku's. So I have uh, 1,200 frags. Not sure what to get exactly. I was thinking of getting something for maybe Helvers. Or I could get the last speed that I'm missing. I mean, I do have a gold speed, so I never thought about getting a, a red one. But... When it comes to the hybrid ones, I have all of them except for godlike HP and speed. So I could end up getting this for Toshiro and running. I don't I don't know what, what to do with these uh, fragments. So that was pretty much, I guess, the plan before. It changes. It, ch it changes by now. Uh, so 110k the cards, though. So it goes with the original plan. Or 114k. So I have 14k or 4k left over. I also wanted to get myself Grimjaw Motsuls. So, however much gold I'll have left on the last day, and how much I decide to recharge, it's all, at this point, all I can do is wait till the last day, and whatever happens, happens, you know, I'm, I'm getting Kokuto no matter what, how much gold I'll have left over, that all depends on this. Um, pretty much, Grimjaw is the best Motsul to get out of all of these, I mean, by far, do not get any of these other Motsuls, Grimjaw is just the best. You also have Tier 13 Hogus that just came out. Which, they look really cool, also have really nice stats, but it, it costs like three to 400 Hogu Enhances to go from 0 to 10. It's really expensive. They're also red quality, they're not orange, so you can use them on red partners. Uh, all this other stuff, I mean, a level 7 box for 800 cards though, it's kinda, kinda up there. You have Minazuki for 40k, and Ryujin is 30k. Also, I apologize if I sound awkward, but I'm just like really sick. Got the flu and everything, and I'm here trying to do videos this week. Just my luck after college exams and all this, I, I get sick. But um, I was thinking about getting Bankai Shinsu, honestly. The only issue I have in CSB is Mukins. Um, I could have honestly gotten Bankai Shinsui or even Hashwalt. Like, that was, I was deciding about this all morning. I was talking to a few people about it, you know. But I still think I'm going to go with the original plan of getting Toshiro. Make him the fastest. The freeze is going to be really nice for me. And I'll have Kokuto as a second support, Hell vs Ichigo. I'm gonna keep, uh, what's her name, Kukaku. Maybe next year I'll end up getting Gerard. Um, not sure when, you know, if anything, but next Christmas. Because he'll be cheaper. Um, maybe there'll be a new Vanguard by then, I really don't know. But I'll keep my formation probably till the end of this game, honestly. I don't see myself changing my formation anymore. Uh, it's finally gonna be something I enjoy, so... First things first. Have to get myself Toshiro. <laughs> so, uh, I need to make sure I have, I have the room and all this. I also make sure I take care of the tavern partners. So, Toshiro, first one I get. Then I need to get Helvers. Because, to be honest, if I got Kokuto and Toshiro, um, you know, my Assaulter is really lacking. I'm also going to inherit Berserk Renji. I don't think I'll be using him. Because I'll be getting a tier 12 for Helverse, so... I think I'm gonna finally just Dead Berserk Rangy, not even switch him in for PvE anymore. Especially since I need Helverse for Void. Get myself a Helverse. And then, 30k. You know, it sucks that Bankai Kenny was a disappointment. Otherwise, I would've loved to get him, and... 
do some sort of team, but... And yeah, I was gonna wait for, you know, a news on Pacto to release, but... Either way, Regen's gonna hold up. If a news on Pacto comes out, it'll be 40k. At least here, it's a little bit cheaper. And, I, I, you know, Minazuki being such a failure, I really don't know if they can make a Zompacto to put an end to Ryujin. And if it's really as good as it seems, then I'll do another bargain sale this year and just get that Zompacto. But this is going to help me out for Void and everything else, so... Finally, getting Ryujin Jaka. And that is, you know, witnessing me... Like, I literally had 108k gold and witnessed all of it vanish in 3 hours. You know, when you see your gold ga go down... It's the worst feeling in the world, and it's gonna keep going down. I have to recharge again, and then it's gonna be pretty much flatlined. <laughs> Maybe next bargain sale I have to get something, just in case Shinigami agent. But that's that, you know, that's Christmas over with right now. <laughs> that's pretty much how fast Christmas went out, so. There we have it, Toshiro, Hellverse. Uh, I don't know where the Zanpakutos go in this bag. Okay, right here in the front. Reijin, literally like the most broken Zanpakuto in the goddamn world. So, I can activate it. You know, no refunds now at least, so materialize. Well first, I have enough souls to release this thing. Which is good, I saved souls for that. I also have Soul of Conquest to use up Shikai form. You know, when you go through Zanpaktos, you never really pay attention to the transitions, but... Then you got Bankai, and then, you know, it just, it's honestly weird when you first get it. And then Hogyoku Kai. So I finally have Regin. It's broken on Brazil, and pretty much the thing that just beats me. This Unpacto alone will help you win. And because of fortifications, my battle power goes down. So I only have 4k saved up. I don't know how far it's going to get me. Maybe it'll be enough just to get, like, speed 50, but otherwise, probably not. So, that's something I need to work on. Regen is done with. Get myself Toshiro. Get myself Helvers. And then the long way the transition begins. <laughs> um, I wish I could have done it all in one video. But at this rate, this video will be delayed like the first one. But I promise. I'll be here all day trying to get this formation changed. I have to do a lot of stuff. Um, really not looking forward to all the Inherits, but I really like Hellverse Ichigo, really like Toshiro. Kokuto is going to give Hellverse a 40% attack as well as damage rate boost. The problem is I need to get his ultimate modification. Uh, because he ignores enemy's defense by 25% for 20 rounds. And I also need to get Toshiro's 5th mod at least. And then I'll save stuff for Kokuto because he needs at least 4 or 5. Um, but another issue is, since I have Ryuji now, Kukaku is actually going to be useful. I need to get her last mod, because her last mod is really good. So, I'll be here all day, <laughs> working on all this stuff. Um, it's definitely going to be an adventure. Also, since Acceleration Modification is here, that's kind of why I, I wanted to get Hellverse today. So I can just at least reset once or twice a day and, and do his stuff. Bankai Shinsui, you know, not a guaranteed Mook encounter, but something I would have done. I would have done Kokuto as the most stacked support, being my main support. And then doing Bankai Shinsui as a second, but... He's a huge gamble. Like, he can either help me in PvP, or he can make no difference at all. And at least Toshiro has his freeze. So it's gonna help me in PvE and Void. And who knows, I mean, he has a really good Halo. He drops all enemies' speed by 10%, and he gets 25% speed from both modifications. So, really good all around. I need to also make sure he gets T1, so I need to see how far Evo takes me. It's going to be a huge spending fest. That's pretty much what's going to happen today. Um, I also have those Hogos to work on. But that's all for today's video. Just want to apologize. I can't get the battle power information all that stuff done. But I promise it's not going to take as long as the Kukaku video. I'll make sure of that. Hopefully it doesn't corrupt this time either. Oh, actually, before I end it, I almost forgot. I have those Spirit Stone boxes to open. Um, tier 12 as well, so let's just open that. I also have all this Asachi to use up. I have Bonds to use up. I have Bonds to do. <laughs> Some of my stuff to go through. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun actually going through my account and figuring out what's going to happen. 
But I'll open up all my Spirit Stone box for you guys. I really don't want to do all 24 level 10s at once. Like, I really don't. But, uh, let's just see what happens. Have to go through my stones again. I also can finally take off the agility stones from Kukaku. I only had them for BP purposes before, and now since I have Regen, I basically don't want to be slow. Level 6 agility, though. Level 8 crit and break defense. <laughs> Level 9 hit and strength. Okay, I really hope for like agilities and wisdoms and strengths. I'm just going to do all 24. Ah, oh, this is the worst part. Okay, I got like six staminas. I didn't even see what happened, but I have to go through this. Okay, I got no strengths, one agility, four wisdoms. That's a good sign. Six staminas. I don't know. That's really not too good. Two stams or two hits. That's that's could have been worse. Two crits, five break defenses. Honestly, that's bad. Two counters. Um. Luckily, I didn't get any dodges. Like, wow, what are the odds? And no blocks. No blocks and dodges. But five break defenses and two counters hurt. Um, I guess I could use the break defense. You know, makes make a, make up more space for my formation. I actually needed some counter. Otherwise, I wish I could have gotten some strengths. But yeah, four wisdoms is, is really solid. I want to see how stacked I can get my Toshiro. Kind of have to balance out in the Maya set. Uh, I'll be using him for nine more days. That's, I'm gonna be using him, but I will inherit his modifications because I need them, and I'll probably inherit his reincarnation as well as, yeah, I'll probably just end up fully inheriting him, or I'll end up waiting till tomorrow, uh, just to see how my damage and void is gonna be. I still doubt he can hit, but I get a boost for having the Maya, so that's pretty much the reason why I think I'll keep the Maya until before void, and then I'll just get rid of him. So that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And like I said, I'll catch you guys in the next part. And there'll probably be one more part at least after that. So until next time.